Philips Norelco One Blade, part two, coming up. Hey guys, Paul D'Onofrio back with you from Groom Reviews, where we're helping you get comfortable, confident, and clean in grooming. So about a month ago now, I put out a video on the Philips Norelco One Blade Face Unit. And after that video, I got a lot of requests from people who had watched who said, hey, would you be willing to trim down to the skin? Because we really want to see what this unit can do. And now that I look back at the video, I was trying to maintain my beard, didn't want to just cut it all off right away. I want to see what it could do. And this really wasn't made for a thicker type beard. I was trying to keep that. But if you looked at my previous video on the Multi Groom 3000, I had used those attachments to get it down a lot lower to where it is now. So I feel like it's appropriate to now give you guys what you want, come back for part two, and see what this unit can do. I'm gonna do both sides of the cheeks. I'm gonna keep a goatee so I can keep something on there because I got more videos I wanna put out. We gotta keep a little something on the face so we can demonstrate some of the other products that are gonna be coming out. The beard only grows so fast, so we always gotta keep that in mind. I'm gonna use a five, three, one, then we're gonna use this. We're gonna keep this thick. And we're just gonna see how smooth this really gets at the end. It's gonna get you down there, but you're, feel, you're still gonna feel it. But I wanna show you guys what it can do. It's intimidating sometimes to just jump in with one of these things and just put it near your face. It's electronic, it's moving, you can't really stop it once you go. If you've grown something that took you a lot of time and effort to put into it, it's gonna make you feel like, oh, I don't wanna touch it, I don't wanna, I don't wanna mess it up because I took so long to grow. That's why I'm here, I'm gonna show you what it can do. Let's jump into the shave. I'm gonna shave off one cheek, the other cheek, use all the attachments, leave a goatee, and we're gonna see what the Philips Norelco One Blade will do. All right guys, so we're back in the bathroom and we're ready to go for the goatee. We wanna look at the face and just see where we see that thick hair growing. In my beard, you can see, you know, right in here, it gets thicker, and as we go around here, it gets thicker. I'm gonna start just taking, you know, start shaping around this. Questions people have is under here, how much they should keep. As far as I go, I'll go where the jawline is and then I'll come down a little bit further than that. It gives it kind of a more defined um, look to it. Also, as far as sideburns, I like to go somewhere mid ear, somewhere in here, you just come right across, right across. If you're trying to see, you know, how do I know which sides are lined up? How do, you know, you can just look at your eyes come down, just see where it's kind of lining up on both sides. But let's go in, we're gonna start with the five millimeter. We're just gonna see layer after layer what it starts to look like. And then we're gonna see if that final smooth finish is really there at the end or if it just feels a little rough. All right guys, so here's the unit and here's the five millimeter comb. So it's just easy, snap, click, let's see what it does. All right guys, so that was the five millimeter. Not much of a, of a, a change from where it was before, but you know, we're dropping down. As you can see, I'm going down uh, with this unit. You'll see other videos out there, a lot of people go up. I like to go down. I know the beard hair falls down. I can see the hairs that are wisping off. When I go up, it can go in any direction. I might cut off too much. Some people say, you know, you didn't take off enough hair, it's not cutting enough. That's fine. I'll go back with a, a lower unit, I'll go with a, a lower uh, millimeter. But I'd rather be on the safe side, make sure I'm not cutting off more than I want. So now we're just gonna pop off the five millimeter, just like that, take our three millimeter, click it in, and we're ready to go. That was a three millimeter. If you look at it now, you can see this is starting to pop out. It's getting that tighter look, more detailed look, starting to kick in there. So someone could just leave it like this if they wanted to and say, hey, I want this goatee to pop and I want these to be a little bit more faded and uh, I wanna go with that. We're gonna go to the one millimeter next, the stubble comb. And we're gonna see really how low this can go. All right, let's pop off that three millimeter. Take our one millimeter, ready to go.
All right, guys, so there's the one millimeter. We're down to stubble. Now you got that pronounced uh, goatee going in there. It's not bad, yeah, you know, getting down to the stubble, that kind of stubble, if that's what you're going for, I can see how this uh, would work well for some people. Now, as you can see here, I don't know if you guys can see that, but you get this buildup. <laughs> you kind of just take that off. So that's what happens with this unit because these, these combs are so small. But now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go with the blade. I'm gonna work at the, at the line for the ear. We're gonna take the rest of the cheeks off and then under here, I'm gonna cut into this with this and we're just gonna see where it is at that point and then we'll decide if we need to do anything more with the goatee. So there you have it with the actual blade. When I run my hand down on it, you know, it doesn't feel that bad. When you go up, yeah, you can definitely feel that stubble feel to it, but it's really not that bad. It gets it pretty close. If you really want it to be clean, you go in there with a the shaving cream and a razor and you get really close to the skin. But as far as what you what you really need, this is this is good enough. I haven't taken anything off of this, but under here, the jawline's here, I came down a little bit further, put the line. Gives it a little bit more of that thickness. I also had an angle to it because my um, goatee is kind of, that's how it grows, it grows thick like that. Let me comb this out a little bit and then I'll trim it up and then we'll see what we got. So there you have it. Uh, I like the result. I got those detailed lines on the side. Coming underneath, down the side again, and I think it looks good. I kept it a little thicker because uh, I just want to test it out, see where it's at. Some people, you can go shorter. You saw what the 5.3 one millimeter can do. If you want to cut this down to that length, then, you know, you'd still have this stubble here. I mean, this is this is pretty smooth. You know, you want that stubble look sometimes. It looks good. Uh, you know, the definition you get from this, and then you get that little, it's kind of like an accent to it. You can still see the stubble that's popping out. You know, I think this is a really great product. Uh, now that I tried it the second time, part two here, and trimmed further down, you know, this is a good product from Philips Norelco. At the price point that it's at, I don't think you can pass it up. The only thing I would say is, is you know, you got that hair that builds up in those combs. So you might have to take it off every once in a while, empty it out, clean it up. But other than that, you know, it's, it's decent. I'm glad you had me do this part too because I like the results. I like testing this. I didn't fully use the attachments the way I should have probably the first time. And I have a different perspective now of this product thanks to you guys. I appreciate that. Thanks for watching. Consider subscribing, liking, commenting, whatever you can do to help the channel out. I hope to bring more grooming products to you guys as we move along in the future. Beard's only growing so fast. To put out more product reviews and put them out faster, there's probably gonna be some people, special guests, that'll pop in from here or there that'll demonstrate different things. Male, female, different parts of the body. We'll see what happens. Thanks for sticking with me. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Catch you guys next time.